yeah so uh this is my uh, repo they have taken uh, from that uh, means which we which was shared and uh, these are uh, pre uh, previous this is the provisional uh, script i mean which i have not made any changes and uh, it's because i have not worked with it and uh, this is a jenkins file which i have written for initially uh, so it will install all this uh, necessary ansible and uh, i'm packer in my local system and i've th also thought like let us uh, thought of in, uh, doing that in a docker uh, installing the docker in my system and it will create a docker a docker uh, image and then install all of these applications and then uh, run but uh, i have i've got less time for which uh, i've done it in the local system i have all this my setup in my uh, local setup here so i have done uh, All this thing here. So, uh, so you have taken uh, AWS credentials uh, here, and with uh, access ID and secret key. This is the first step, which have uh, we have if we'll install all these Ansible and Packer uh, packages. And the second stage, uh, this with uh, initiate the Packer and uh, run this uh, uh, Packer uh, script. That's my Jenkins file. And in this uh, packer file, where will I will install the basic uh, region and uh, AMI and detail, AMI, I mean AWS details, in which region I have to create uh, the image on. And later coming to the build, I have given like this one and uh, provisional as Ansible. This is a thing which initially, I mean, for the shell scripting part, we will give like okay, shell script here and give multiple uh, scripts. Here I've just moved to Ansible. This is my uh, Packer uh, script with Ansible. Initially, I've got an issue like uh, I've got an issue like uh, where uh, I couldn't install the An An uh, Ansible commands in through this pack of Packer image, Packer file. But uh, somehow, I mean, uh, after installing uh, this one, oh sorry, let me come back. So I need to install separately Ansible also this step. And it, Jenkins was taking Jenkins was taking from its uh, path because of which it couldn't recognize Ansible. Later that I have figured that out and uh, made it uh, like this. So uh, this is my code here. And uh, when I run, when I go to Jenkins to run this build, It goes in there and it takes all the uh, commands in my from my local system. Everything is installed in my local system. And yet again, I mean, uh, it will uh, take the packages and it will whenever if we have to run in any other system also, it will uh, download the packages, install them in the local system. And it's unzipping Packer and uh, is trying to now uh, it's running the Packer in it and Packer build. It's trying to create these two instance in that specific region. Initially, there were a lot many issues were there, but I mean, I'm, I was going step by step. Uh, I was I didn't done anything like this prior, hands on. So uh, it's really uh, challenging for me to do all this stuff and really interesting also. What I've thought is okay. This is the first step which I have done. I mean, all the configuration is my in my system and in, installing in the, my local system. But I don't want to do that, and I have wanted to integrate with the Docker Docker uh, uh, Docker engine and Docker instance container instance. And then in there, I, I should run able to run this. This is a thing which I have uh, thought in my mind. I will uh, update that later point if I get any more time. Cool. So yeah, this is this is awesome uh, through an Ansible uh, playbook and doing it in real time.
uh, while we are on this, just to add just a little bit of value. <clears throat> because AMIs are regional in nature, this you are doing for one specific region, but companies usually operate in more than one region sometimes. Like there's no general rule, but usually they have more than one region. So in that case, you have additional features, additional uh, parameters where you can pass in the uh, the the code uh, the, to which region you want to do it. So then it will copy the same. It will use the same code, create it in one region, but also copy that image to other regions as well. <clears throat> same you can do for multiple accounts also. If you have more than one account and you want to use the same code, then you can again specify the number of uh, the account ID in the code. You can find out that th there's a specific parameter. You can add that and it will do it for all your accounts and all your regions. So that's usually in large enterprises where multiple regions are there. Then it, it it's very easy for, for the, this process to copy it to uh, in that region and then add that account. And and for uh, I just for yesterday I started uh, looking for part two also, wherein mm -hmm. I couldn't able to understand this pet clinic project where I no, have no prior ex experience in anything. I doesn't know anything how this uh, code integration works and uh, how Gradle and uh, Maven uh, will work also. Yes, actually I've I've, uh, I've run manually in my local mm -hmm. system using Gradle and uh, Maven also. Somehow. Okay. Uh, 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 let me show you. It was I was getting uh, uh, getting many issues uh, actually we, with the code, mm -hmm. but uh, I have checked with. Uh, Did uh, you read the like read me file which version and all that it are uh, required? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I have I have read all that, mm -hmm. and but somehow it was stopping for only uh, looking for one uh, program actually one plugin actually, where I had to manually add that. Even that also didn't work. Again, I have switched it to the previous version which we had before. Mm -hmm. I mean, just in the bed cleaning, it it did run surprisingly without any changes. <laughs> so I was able successfully running with the Gradle and Maven also, both of them. Okay, cool. So cool, cool. next so, thing I want so, to integrate them. So usually, like since you are new, you mentioned uh, you are still trying to learn. What happens is. This is one example of pet clinic, right? This is basic, simple example. Usually in enterprise, a DevOps engineer would be uh, requested or given a task that you go and uh, implement some pipeline or automation for application X. You would have no idea how that's built. That could be a mobile application, that, that could be your banking application of that company or whatever that could be right so you would go and you would talk to the developers you will understand how they build that application on their laptops what java version they use uh, okay. what other tools they use what dependencies they use so that that is a sort of discovery process that you will work with the application team understand that how they do it on their laptop their test machine their build machine and all that and then you will bring that knowledge and try to do that in jenkins so that's how it, it works in the real time also just that in the mm -hmm. pet clinic because it's an industry standard for doing demos and that sort of thing they have given some information to get you started but usually you will discover that talking to the developers yeah and also i have got to know like uh, this i mean building with cradle and Gradle W, the difference between them and W will use the just the wrapper to maintain the I mean the versions of them, which there might be a many developers working with different versions of uh, uh, Java versions, right? Mm -hmm. Of many applications. So Gradle W, uh, oh, correct me if I'm wrong, Sanjay. W only uh, maintains the version will be the same. It's just a wrapper, I believe so for Gradle. Is that right? No, I'm, I'm not sure. I okay. did that long, long back. Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone as anyone has got some comment like W or any specific uh, case matters here? No, uh, as far as I know, Sanjeev, you know, Gradle W uh, is just a command same like Gradle, uh, but okay. you know, most of the time it is, you know, most recently people have started using Gradle W command to build 
now yeah. the same way how we build mvn uh, clean package we use okay. gradle w that's it i don't think there is much difference okay cool yeah after saying like gradle gradle also build that java application and gradle w also will uh, build the application but i mean to, gradle w is like a w is a wrapper of a gradle wherein it, mm -hmm. it will uh, yeah uh, i've seen that google that's uh, i don't have much more knowledge on that okay i've run through gradle itself so uh, coming to this my, in our uh, my command sorry i have my vm so the build is success uh, with the pipeline and ams were created yep so uh, in my ec2 instance uh, these are the ams which were there yeah. which were created and uh, we have the snapshots also remember they are private amis for your account they will not be accessible outside um, so if anybody wants to use this will not be accessible yeah so just read about this this is this is just to get you started just get a little bit of idea uh, more yeah. about amis when you are doing uh, slightly more complex scenarios could be that you would be asked or your aws account will enforce that your root volume that you are creating your ami with has to be encrypted so that sort of uh, scenarios may may come up or complex things would be asked but if you know this you will be able to figure out the remaining uh, complexities well done uh, just just 